So this award-winning cryptocurrency website has been done completely by AI and I'll explain you how to build this step-by-step step to the very end using Google Anti-Gravity VO3, Whisk and a few other tools. So again, first of all, let's go to the website. As you can see, this is, I just love this animation. And as you can see, uh, it has all these cool components, bank level security, global compliance, simple transparent pricing, etc, etc, etc. And yeah, it's Raj's crypto. So, yo. <laughs> this is my cryptocurrency platform but yeah jokes aside this is the complete platform and this animation was done using google's vo3 and uh, honestly i saw this kind of website on dribble a while back and i said let me just recreate it for myself because i knew this was possible so let's i'll run you through step by steps first of all i'll show you my inspiration so this was my inspiration So this was my inspiration again this looks way well done but that isn't bad either so again this would easily cost you 20 to thirty thousand dollars to get this done because people charge a lot for these award-winning high-end 3d websites so if you go in there and say hey you know what i'm gonna build some to you i'm gonna build you something similar for one tenth of the price like a thousand two thousand bucks they cannot say no so again, let's get right into it. You can also turn this into a complete, fully fledged SaaS if you want to. And you can do whatever you want. The sky is your limit. You can add soup, you can add a database, you can add APIs, and you can just turn this into a complete SaaS application. But again, enough of blabbling. Let's get to the real work. So as always, you'll have a complete prompt guide. This is the one shot prompt. This is a website one shot, which you can use. This is the image prompt and this is the video prompt. So I hope, I hope it's all clear. Let's get to building it. So first things first, so this is how we're going to build out our website. I've attached this screenshot, which you need to download. First of all, download this real quick and then open the Google docs, which I have provided and just simply grab this nano banana image prompt, copy this real quick. So once you're inside Whisk, just quickly paste this prompt. So just grab the screenshot, which I've provided in the drive, add this as a subject, and then paste the prompt, which I've given you in the docs for Nano Banana. Just paste it all here. And then just keep generating until you get, as you could see, this is what we have. Uh, I'll just uh, add that, uh, remove any text, remove any text. And yeah, just keep shooting this a few more times. We are just doing a bunch of generations. Nothing is to my liking yet. I kind of like this one. This one's looking pretty decent. And these are also pretty nice, but the coin is not symmetrical. Uh, let's just keep going. I don't know why, but I seem to like this one for some odd reason. Let's, uh, let's download this one. Click on save. So step one is completed. Our hero section animated image has been acquired. Now step two is to go on flow and animate this image. So I'll tell you the best part about this kind of a uh, generation is that the start frame and the end frame is the same because we're just looping an animation and animation just runs in loop. So that's what we're trying to do. And a few years ago, this would have required a team of blender artists charging $200 an hour to build this out. I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. Like a few years ago, it's, it's like not even that. Let's go to flow real quick. So as you can see, this is my flow page where uh, I was doing all the generations. So, let so let's quickly go and click on frames to video. So to open flow, search flow by Google, click on the first link, click on generate or create videos and you will be redirected to this page. Click on frames to video. <clears throat> let's click on this plus icon, click on upload and let's quickly upload the image which we just got. So as you can see, so this is, this is one of the images that we just got. Let's click on open and let's kind of crop it out because towards the left hand side, we'll have our text. So let's keep it like uh, this much. I'd say click on crop and save and let's actually go to our document and grab the video prompt. So this is a start prompt. Let's add the end prompt real quick. Click on, let's paste this out and let's do a few generations. Let's 
So you usually need to go through five or six generations before you can actually dwell on one that actually looks good. So I'm just knowing how it all works. I'm just adding multiple generations to make sure that the output is what we need. It's a crisp output. So again, let, let it generate. And until generation is going on, let's quickly go and make a project folder for our Google anti-gravity to work within. So let's quickly go to our desktop on a computer and let's click on new folder. Let's color this, let's just say blue. Uh, no blue. Let's keep this orange and let's name this as crypto landing page. <coughs> Open this up. <coughs> and now let's go back to the generations and wait for at least one of them to finish. Yeah, fuck. Yes. Yes, 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 yes,